Don't teach me about the fans. Woo! What y'all doing? What you what 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 you doing? Fans, fans, fans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So listen. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a one that's uploading. That's been uploading for a minute. And uh, it's talking about the Tamia Taylor and another um, the Reed lady. Also, it was live. Uh, at the river, down by the river. Uh, they looking for that girl now. <laughs> yeah, I ain't buying it, but yeah, I got, I got that uploading, and it was talking about something else. But let me, let me, let me go here. I, I need for y'all to be aware and advised. That a pawn shop right outside, maybe 30 minutes outside of, what's it, East? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. Hold on. I'm going to put my hold on like I'm on the phone. But this little town of Toka. Toka, Tennessee. It's about 30 minutes. Outside of Memphis. A toka was hit. A pawn shop was hit. The other night. I've been meaning to tell y'all that. And none but guns. Was stolen. Huh? I think a hundred and something guns. Was stolen. What that mean? Huh, what that mean? We in trouble, we in trouble. Memphis in trouble. Trouble. Yeah. Yeah. They back to stealing guns and bullets. They planning for a war and mayhem. Mm -hmm. And I thought, since I tell y'all about these killing sprees, that I should also let y'all know what they planning and how they getting them. Let's go to it. But before we do, <laughs> can you hit the like button? For me, please. Don't teach me about I got Colgate coming too. Colgate is my three brother. But it's cute little self. Auntie Fee, why you always call? Cause we got some nice looking men. Some nice looking brothers. Auntie Fee, Yeah. Y'all young uh, ladies need to let them know that they some nice looking brothers. And y'all need to be nice looking and nice acting to help them steer them away from that rough and tough shoot them up bang bang life. But no, a lot of these females is about their life right along with them. Don't and don't complain about them until, you know, 
Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go there with you. <laughs> yeah, when y'all land up, get go, go, get it, get it. They good as go until you left with caring for by yourself. Then all this negative stuff come out. Reckon them them ways was there before you laid up with him, huh? Whew, Lord. Okay, but come on. <laughs> I know that thing. I know, baby girl. I know. I know. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the ladies alone. Come on. Come on with Auntie. Okay, baby. I can hear it now. Auntie P, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, cause baby, look, huh? I tell you, uh, 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 don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> okay, baby girls, come on, let's go, let's go check out, cause I don't want none of y'all to be hit up with these guns that done got stolen that they planning to use. A hundred and sixty-nine guns. Outside and went to put my dog up and I heard a whistle. A whistle. And it startled me, so I ran inside. This woman doesn't want to be identified because she doesn't want her neighboring business to be the next target. After Atoka police say at least four suspects broke into the South End gun and pawn shop early Saturday morning, and got away with 169 guns. This was after really oh, what got shot. Scared because I, it was really late, so nobody should have been out there when I heard it. Chief Anthony Rudolph says it was just around 1.30 in the morning when an officer spotted a blue truck, possibly a GMC, backed up against the store. When he drove over to check it out, the car took off. Police say the officer chased the truck for a short while, but gave up when the chase became too erratic and dangerous. Had he not been doing his job and going out there and looking for, uh, you know, any kind of criminal element, certainly there's no telling how many businesses he would have, they would have tried to hit. We know what happened inside, but look what happened outside. Police say that the thieves backed their car into a glass door that was here taking out not only the glass, but actually the brick siding of the building. I'm not surprised wow. that um, we've seen some of this, but I can tell you the approach in other places are not the approach that we have here in Atoka and Tipton County. He said we'll be held accountable for what happened. Their other top priority is to get the stolen guns off the street. We certainly are not necessarily concerned so much about the firearm is the firearm in the wrong hands absolutely Someone breaking into a business like that certainly we can believe that the firearms are going in the wrong hands I'm at so we already know what those guns are going to be used for right yeah y'all be safe out there Early Tuesday morning, man shot and killed in Berkler, Berkler, St. Pierre Boulevard. The other day started Tuesday. Hey, I woke up out of nowhere and I seen a lot of cop cars uh, from out my window. The crime scene tape was up, swaying in the wind. From the look of it, I automatically knew that something was going on. For this man whose face we are not showing, the love of this Burclair community is what swayed him to return after leaving. I moved from over here because my apartment started molding out. Oh. But I love Summer Avenue and I moved back. It is a return move he may be questioning now after what police say happened just before 2.30 a.m. A man was discovered shot after being rushed to was pronounced dead. For someone to lose their life last night is just devastating once again. Here's a 
He said, what you see in these apartments ain't what you get. I guess the apartments that they show when you're moving in ain't what's going on in the body of the complex.